Hello everyone, it's Dr. Desiree Alexander, aka Educator Alexander, and here's your five minute tip for this week. Remember to click that little thumbs up button to like this video and subscribe to the channel. So I wanna show you three very quick updates that Google made to Google Workspace for Education. One is right here in Gmail. So when you have your different labels here, you can now color coordinate them. What did you say? That's what I said. So if you come here to your labels, notice if you hover over, you'll see the three dots. So if you go ahead and click the three dots, you now have a label color button. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this label in whatever color that is. I only wanna do the label and not the sub labels, but if I want to do all of them in the same color, you can do that. But I'm just gonna do the label itself and I'm going to hit set color. Now I'm gonna come here to the bills one and I'm gonna set it in, let's say, a blue color. And I'm gonna come here to staff and set that in a green color. Notice what's happening. All of the ones that have those labels now are color coordinated. If I open up the email, notice the color coordination stays there. I'm so happy about this. Now in Google Docs, if you haven't noticed on your toolbar, there's a new little button here that can add a checklist. So if I have a list of anything, I can just highlight my list. And you know that you can click bullets and you can click numbers, but now I can make it a checklist. All I have to do is click it and now it is a checklist. Of course, I can make this bigger or smaller or whatever I wanna do, but I have my checklist. So if I need to check it off, there you go. Bring it back to the list. So. I am in love. And then the last thing is the at button. So if I click shift and the at, notice what it does. It brings up people, files, dates, and calendar events. So if I wanna bring up people, I wanna go ahead and put her contact information in there. And then I'm gonna do another at and I'm gonna look for the document I have called dogs. Yep, that's perfect. Put that in there. I'm going to use the at symbol again and put today's date in there. And I'm going to use the at symbol again and put one of uh, uh, an event that's on my calendar. So notice it says, hey, you mentioned people, but those that person doesn't have access to your file. That's fine. I just wanted to maybe give out that contact information. So I'm going to hit dismiss. I don't need to share it with that person. So there you go. All of these things are now hyperlinked. So I needed to give out the contact information. I don't have time to type out an email address. What's wrong with you? I could just use the at symbol and do that. And they have the whole card. They can click more info and see more info. Um, docs, now it's a hyperlink directly to that. July 6th, today's if I want to book a quick meeting or anything like that, and the calendar events. So you can actually put this in documents when you're sharing it and sending it to people. And it's, very, it's a very quick way to hyperlink whatever you're doing. And you don't have to, you know, go get the link, click on hyperlink, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, very, very quick to do. So those are your three updates. Have fun and good luck.